welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Well, trust me, I am Bill Jellen. You can't see me. We're battling the sun here. It's Akron, Ohio. It's not a sunny place, but for some reason it's sunny. And while the sun is usually straight over there, and we can block it out fairly well with a wall, it's now gotten down to the south. And so it's coming into the room, and I'm all washed out, but that's okay. Still time for another cool Excel tip. Talking about uh, pivot tables today and calculated fields in a pivot table. Got a note from... Uh, Bryony. Bryony is, of course, in the UK. If you're out at the Mr. Excel message board, you've probably seen Bryony out there. And Bryony says, hey, I was at one of your seminars once, and uh, you talked about calculated fields. You said that you can't use a function in a calculated field, and she said, I tried it. It works just fine, and turns out that she's right. So we have here sum of revenue by customer. If I would need to build a function to calculate a new field, so let's go to pivot table, formulas, calculated field, and let's create something called key customer. And here the formula is going to be equal if revenue is greater than 100,000, then 1, otherwise 0. Now the result here has to be numeric, so we can't put a word like yes or super customer or anything like that. We have to put 1s and zeros. Uh, but we click OK, and you see that we're going to get a brand new field. And basically, as I drag this across, um, for the small customers under 100,000, it shows up as 0. And for the large customers, it shows up as one. Now, what if we really want words to show up there? Well, I'll go to that sum of key customer, and we'll click the field settings. And then I'll go into the number format. Now, we're going to use something pretty obscure here. Custom number format with zones. Custom number format with zones. And so what we're going to do is say that if the number is positive, then we want to have the word yes show up. If the number is negative, which it will never be, we can put nothing. And if the number is 0, then we'll put no. Basically, in this custom number format, because we have two semicolons, there's three zones. The first zone is for positive, the second zone is for negative, and the third zone is for 0. So when I click OK, we apply that custom number format, and now I get the words yes and no as the result in the pivot table. So thanks to Bryony for sending in that note via Facebook saying, hey, it works just fine using uh, Excel functions in the calculated field and then uh, make it a little bit better by using a custom number format to actually get that calculation uh, to show us one bit of text or another. Well, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.